Hi everybody, it's Tom the Bee Charmer, and today we're going to be combining colonies. Okay, I've made a mistake. In the 46 years I've been doing that, I still make mistakes. So we're going to quickly combine a couple of colonies. So let's get over to the other side of the creek. This is where we live. And let's get over there and suit up and see the mistakes that I made and put them together very quickly. Okay, I've made a mistake. I've tried to make three queens out of that first uh, uh, hive or colony. Uh, however, I did it too late in the year. I knew that maybe I might not do it. Well, what happened? I stole four, six uh, frames of brood and spread them out throughout these. What did they do? Well, as soon as it was late in the year, instead of putting brood back in or trying to make queens, all of these, as soon as they hatched, put honey in where the brood was. So that's the end of the brood. Now, however, this one with the queen in it didn't have anywhere to lay. So I don't know what's happening, but I put a, a super or an Illinois in between with fresh wax on it. Hopefully she's making brood in there, but we really don't know. So let's see what we have here. We're gonna go in here with a little bit of smoke. In other words, this right here is a doomed colony, even though it has all these bees. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay, we've got a few here, but remember, this is queenless and is doomed to failure. You can see here, they are capping the honey right there. Well, look at that, I just broke a frame. Okay. That's not the greatest in the world. They're not doing anything. Okay, so we've got to make a decision. We've got this one like this. We had these frames. Now let's look down here. These are two colonies that we can get a closer look inside them when I open it up. Can we look inside? Notice the jar on the top. That was full of sugar water. We'll talk about that later. But let's see what's going on here. Look at that. Hardly anything there. We need a little smoke. Okay. This was a frame of brood a frame of bees and a frame of pollen. And we were expecting to make a queen here out of this, but it was too late in the year. So what do we have? Pollen, can you see that? Can you, can you see that yellow in there? Mm hmm, mm, they love that pollen. Okay, so nobody else <laughs> likes pollen, but we beekeepers like pollen and we're gonna donate it. They're making that funny noise that needs a, Need to calm down a little bit. And what do we have here? Cap brood. That's a queen cell. 
It's an awful little one. Could this, in fact, be a success? I don't know. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. But as you can see, no laying has been going on in there. But we do have this small queen cell. And it is capped. So maybe we should give it a few more days. Let's do that. In the meantime, there's one of those white ones there. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a burr cell. We don't need that. Nothing. So, we really don't need that either. Uh, what was I going to do? I just, I'll remember. We'll give this one a few more days and see if that little queen uh, does come, come out. Okay, we got lots of bees in this one. Lots of bees. Do we have any queens? I'm pretty sure I was unsuccessful with these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give these bees to that mother hive that has the queen in it. And what do we have? We have nothing but honey. So we don't need that. I'm working as quickly as possible. Ooh, whoa, this is heavy. Honey. Lots of honey, no queen. Lots of honey. No queen, no brood. No queen, no brood. Okay, so this is doomed. This is a doomed colony. Little colony, but... Whoa! There's a lot of cat brood there. What's going on? Let's look in the light here. Shall we give it a few more days? Maybe we should give this a few more days. But this is an excellent example right here. You see these? These are drones. And if you remember fried green tomatoes, when the girl put uh, her hand in with all those bees, I'm sure that was nothing but uh, drones. Package of drones, because drones can't sting. So it looks like, oh man, you know, she's really courageous and she is a bee charmer and stuff. No, uh, they were drones, thousands of them, but couldn't sting. Mm. Um, okay, anyway. We're going to give it a couple more days. Still hatching. I can't tell. No queen. This would definitely have that other queen a place to lay. And that. Which we really don't need that either. So what were the ones we didn't need? That end one and that end one. Now we just looked at that one, it was queenless. Is that correct, Brenda? That's correct. That's correct, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. And we were gonna give them a few more days. So, since we're gonna give them a few more days, uh, Brenda, if you could show them the amount of bees coming out of that. more smoke. I'm going to go right to the source here and 
they they weren't laying in this and they weren't laying I mean I they filled it up with honey so they didn't she didn't have any room to lay but it's a beautiful queen in here and so I'm going to take this off just put it over here and see what's in here do not hurt Whoa. your back what's that do not hurt your back no okay Okay, can you see this? Can we get close? Can we get close can, above it? I can see. We can see it. You can see it. Okay. There. Now, what do we got here? Oh, they're all working really good. But we do have some wasted room here. And that is a. feeder an inside feeder that we don't need anymore so we just take that out and as you can see it gets filled with sugar water I use a screen so that the bees don't uh, drown in it which is a big problem and we're going to go ahead and steal some bees from here notice that we're stealing bees from different places that's an okay thing to do. I thought you was going to give that a few days. Okay, here we're swapping bees. Now you can see what I'm doing here. I'm running back and forth and trying to even out the colonies. And, well, just a minute here. Let's just see here. Let me take a quick look. I'm not going to do this so that everybody can see. I'm just going to very quickly do it. Honey. Oh, there's brood up here. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That means the queen is up here. Let's go in the light. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at all that larva. Can you see that white stuff there? Brenda, can you focus in on that? You see it? You can see it. Okay, this is fantastic news because they had filled all of this up with honey, but now they're filling the top up with brood, which I did not expect at all. I expected nothing but honey up here and a lot of wasted energy. But let's continue real quick. I'm gonna leave these alone. And that'll be our lesson for today, our very quick lesson. In other words, trying to figure out, and they've got brood here too. You see that? Now, a few weeks ago, this was all full of honey. Notice the, the uh, dome-shaped area where they lay, and there's an excellent example here of drone cells. Those are the males. Uh, and you can see larvae in between She's up here, she's laying. And incidentally, any of these little ones can become a queen. We'll talk about that later, but it's what they eat and that what they select. This is fantastic. Oh, this is such good news. I thought this was a complete failure. But you see, they've fixed the situation. Even though I made a mistake, they fixed it for me. So we'll have to rename this one this blog as a mistake that got fixed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? Look at all of that brood. Look at all that brood. Okay, so we know she's up here. I'm going to go ahead and she's up here and see if we can find her. I think she's up here. There's a couple of drones here. Can we see these drones? 
one right here, the bigger one, right there. Okay, I can't take this anymore. Okay, we had to let the bees calm down for a few minutes. Brendita, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. This is our label right here. Everybody should get their own label, even if you only get 10 of these or whatever. Uh, anyway, well, uh, Brendita uh, went. I went ahead very quickly. We didn't know what we were going to get into, and that's part of the problem. I thought that these were all doomed hives. But they're not. And so what I did was I came over to this colony, which was cleanless, queenless. They are starving for a queen. And so as soon as we put some brood in there, they're going to go ahead and they're going to make queen cells. So what I did was, can you get a little bit closer? Okay, focus in on that. Okay, this is the one with the queen cells, or I'm sorry, the young larva on it. I've got it separated a little bit. What did I do with my smoker? Uh, here it is. Just to have it ready. And they should be working it right away. And they are. But let me lift it up. Ah, it's already stuck. Ah, okay. And this is gonna, we're gonna end it right here. There it is. They are going to make a queen here out of this. So let's just set that back and leave them alone and give them a couple of weeks. And that's it. That's it. So let's walk backwards to the truck here and let me take my hat off. Okay, come on, let's see a big puddle here. Okay. So we expected to combine some hives, but didn't do it. And so now we have, uh, we've got in there, we didn't find, we, we didn't find the hive. Uh, so we'll go ahead and end it right there. And let's go back to the uh, house and finish it up. Okay. Vlog number three is about uh, queenless hives combining colonies and making queen, queens in nukes. Okay, first I want to start off by retracting that statement about fried green tomatoes and drones, but I do want you to remember that drones or males cannot sting. The sting itself is a modified oviduct, and males just do not have uh, ovaries. So let's think of what we did. We wanted to go down, take those three, the two nukes and the queenless colony, and combine them with the mother colony, which had a good queen in it. Well, we got in there, we found out that they still, that is the queenless colony, still had brood in them. And so we were going to give them a couple of days. And then when we opened up the mother hive, uh, which at the beginning had all kinds of honey in where they had been laying brood, where I had stolen the brood to make these other colonies. What did we find? Oh, my goodness. There were lots, and they had fixed that. They had taken all of it out, and the whole top brood after brood after brood after brood. So what did we do? We left, the, we left them alone. I took a frame of uh, 
eggs and put them in the bigger um, uh, queenless colony. And by doing that, they were so excited, they all went right to it, and they are going to make queen, queen cells, which we'll see in about 10 days. So with that said, even though you think you have a failure, give it some time, work with it, think like a bee, and give them what they need.